Welcome aboard. I'm Captain Jake. We're back with another episode of Feel the Glory to Medieval. This game was developed by Byzantine Games and published by Slytherin. And we're still waiting for Feel the Glory Kingdom. But every other week when we play this, because this is our alternating series with Battlestar Galactica, uh, Deadlock, you will be the second to know. Because, <laughs> or, or I'll be the second to know. I'm not sure how that really works out. But uh, we're waiting for that so we can get to the integration. But the last time we were here, we had completed a battle and we were victorious once again. So now we're going to go into the next battle and uh, deployment. We got some decisions to make. But the first thing we're going to do is uh, get this loaded up. So let's go ahead and do that here. While that loads up, I'd like to uh, welcome uh, back all subscribers and welcome in any new subscribers taking a look at this series for the first time. It uh, is uh, polar opposites of uh, what we run every other week. We run a science fiction one week and then we run kind of a historical medieval um knights and arrows and horses and uh completely different so let's take a look at what we have here we're at stage four of eight we successfully achieved the victory conditions for the previous stage of the campaign prestige is feared fortresses none fortresses gain none and last stage score was uh higher than our average so anyway so let's take a look what we have over here. Uh, 1085, following his defeat, Bohemond was forced to return to Italy as his men were demanding two and a half years pay arrears, which he was unable to pay. Norman threat ended with the death of Robert uh, Guscard in 1085. Meanwhile, here it go, uh, Polician, Polician sect, who represented the majority of the population of uh, Philippopolis, region of Thrace, modern uh, Bodiv of Bulgaria, had revolted. Being joined by many uh, Poly uh, Polician deserters from the Byzantine army and making common cause with the uh, Pegnegs. Well, <laughs> Jesus, half those words I couldn't pronounce, but anyway. So, what does it say here? Uh, Alexos must decide whether to suppress the revolt with locally available forces or mobilize the field army. Okay. Fight with our local forces. This will take you back to the previous stage of the campaign. We don't want to do that. March to meet them with your main army. You will not have time to replace your losses from the last battle. Oh man, what should I do? Well, that's a tough one. Oh, joined by many deserters from the Byzantine army. A lot of deserters from our army already. Do we want to fight them with local forces? It's not giving me an idea of what I can have. Uh, we can't replace our losses from the last battle. Uh, which weren't that great. So let's go ahead and main army. I always say get there with the most that we can. So that's what we're going to do. We can get in there with our main army. Well, we will see. Because we should still have the local forces, right? I don't know. We shall find out. Okay, we got the Byzantine army against the... Uh, Policy and rebels. Objectives, route at least 40% of their troops, 25% more than you have lost, or routing 60% of their troops. Again, 24 turns, we have 23. The enemy is offering open battle. Okay, oh, well, we got loyal and rebel. Ooh. Well, let's see what we end up with here. This could be interesting. Close. We are in deployment mode. You can drag, move, or swap units to any highlighted tile where you are happy with their positions. You can't swap units if one would end up outside its own deployment area. 
You can switch units to different commands. You can move generals to different units. When you finish, click the end turn button to end your turn. All right. Well, let's see what we got here. All right. Let's back up and see what we're looking at here. There's the enemy front line. So what do we have? We have light horse archers, which I love my light horse archers. And here we have foot archers. Uh, Byzantine light archers. Lancers. Horse archers. A sub general. Defensive spearmen. Then we have a sub general here. There are axe moving suckers. Irregular foots. We got some more. Again, raw defensive spearmen. Got our mast archers. Here we have more mast archers. Irregular foots. Mast archers, heavy foots, heavy foots, plates, and what do we have here? We got archers, archers, more archers, light horse archers, Light archers, and what we got out and in? Horse archers should be all horse archers. Yeah. Okay. What do we have up front here? Light javelin. I don't know why we got those all spread out in front. And here we have cavalry, which are lancers. More light. More light. This should be our CNC who was in heavy battle, so he's down a little bit of strength here. All right, the only thing I can see that I don't like is I don't like these guys out front. I can move him behind because what I'm thinking is, and there's a ridge. Let me just make sure that's what I think it is. Okay, this is a hilltop and uh, kind of a big hill here because it glows one on. Okay. And I think I want these guys out front. I'm concerned. May even want to move them over here because that gives these guys mobility. Yeah, why don't we do that? I think we'll move these guys over here. Now, should be under take this guy oh no we need to name the units who are they being commanded by yeah see he that shows who he is commanding and it should have my command radius already turned on Let's see Yes. Perfect. 
All right, so what do I assign? Let's see, I can assign these guys. Can't assign them. I wonder why. Can't transfer it to this unit. Different command. All right. Well, which command is he? That's my commander in chief. Yes. You can see that these guys are all under his command. These guys. Well, which command are these guys part of? I don't see. Okay, well, I can transfer them to there. I'll go here, but I can't transfer them to there. Can't transfer them to there. Can't transfer them to there. I guess. Hmm. He does have a big command radius. So. No. Oh, I see what you're what it's doing. All right, I get confused on that. I'm thinking that. They would be able to do that, but I'm thinking that's good. Horse little reserve here. Had no reason to put him all the way in the back. Let's bring him up. Now, what do I have here? I got my masked archers, some light archers. OK, all right, well. I guess that's what we'll do right there is uh, check and see what we got going on. All right, I think we'll just go ahead and take it. We'll end our turn. All right. In turn, yes, we are sure. Now, let's see what are we facing. All right, unless he's got, what do we have here? These are horse archers, the regular foot. Now we're basically mast archers, mast archers. Oh. They made a lot of archers here, don't they? Wow. Hmm. I have here lancers. Wow. These mass archers is what I'm concerned about. I think they got all the masked ones. Yeah, they took all my masked archers. So, let's see here. These are light archers, not open. These are all horse archers, man. It's like fighting myself. I don't know if I'm going to like that. All right. Let's see if I can. Let's see what they do if I draw them off over here
didn't want to move the whole command and not see that moderately disordered yeah okay Clog up the middle. Let's go ahead and move that whole command. Yeah. Now I'm going to move the javelins. Hmm. Maybe I can't move. Okay, I can move him to here. So, I don't believe I got anybody else to move for this turn. No. All right. Hmm. Let's see what they do. What kind of losses am I going to take here? That's my concern. So, okay. I'm just hoping that the rebels are not as strong with morale. Well, that was interesting and we got horse archers here I'm gonna take these guys and say I want to hit this guy here so um, if I move him here I wonder if I can shoot I should be able to be facing that direction. Let's find out by moving the one unit. Nope. Out of the arc. So. Now we can shoot. Okay. Let's 
see how we do here. Okay, I think I'm going to have to ride this guy around this way, because I want to get more over here. You're going to do the same. So here is the height. Let me get my general. Headed that direction. This command. Move up. Okay, so now concentrate on this guy. First off, let's see how close we can get him. Okay, these are lanterns, so here. These are Lancers. Okay, now these are... First off, let's see what we can do here. This guy is under 89. 370. First off, let's go. Well, let's see. Yeah, I'm probably going to lose, so let's go not do that. Let's go ahead and move him here. And turn and fire. Again, we're going to try to hit the wings and collapse them in. So let's move him there. Good. Okay, I got 343 and I got 370. So let's move here. And hammer them. That's what I wanted to see, right there. Open and open. Yeah. 
Okay, we have lancers, lancers, and horse archers. Okay, horse archers we're going to break off. Send them up to here. Okay, lancers. Nope, that's no horse archers, so... support all right let's see who else I got to move no one all right now let's see how well we take them you be us What I like about those is that they are able to range attack me. So, the fact that they can range attack me and I can't, my best way to attack is to be in their face. face here in a minute. Oh, who is that? That is the sub-general. that their main general back, way back here? Yeah. Well, why we got a revolt going on? We were paying our troops, <laughs> as opposed to the other guy who was not paying his troops. Doesn't seem fair. Mm -hmm. uh, disrupted me, huh? Bad shot, too bad for you. Oh! Well, we ain't gonna take that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna charge that general. Damn right we are. All right, so. Uh, let's go here. Turn and fire at this guy. Really? Uh, we could win, chances of losing, but uh, let's see here. He's disrupted. This guy has got 150. This guy's got, all right. Well, let's shoot with this guy first. And we can shoot with him again. If I charge him, they're going to run. And I don't want him to run. I want him to route. Now fragmented. Let's move forward here. All right, well, let's do that.
But oh, that sucked. Well, uh, I'm telling you, well, that sucked. Still mad that I can't. Well, open ground, but I can't move there, eh? All right, well. Held firm, huh? These guys, what do I have here? All right, masked archers. Okay, these are defensive spearmen and defensive spearmen. Okay. Don't go too far. Okay. These guys are sitting out there. That's okay for now. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, what do I have here? The Lancers. Now well, let's shoot at him first. Oh, can't shoot at him. All right. Okay, let's move this guy up one. No, can't move him up one. This guy. All right. Okay, fire. I found out what happened last time. I screwed that up.
Okay, moving these guys up. Okay, now I got my regular foot soldiers. Byzantine light archers won't be able to shoot over. So, move them up. I like javelin. And what do I have here? I think that's the last one I get to move here also. No, that's right. All right, these guys are irregular foot. And these are... All right, let's move them to here. See which way we make these guys adjust here. Well, I'll take the long range shot. What the hell? Yeah, it's ten less guys than I had a minute ago. Light javelin. Uh, okay, we'll leave him there. That's it. We'll call that a turn. All right. I think we'll play to turn five here and call that an episode and then recap. So, Let's see what happens here. Ouch. There's so damn many of them. We're going to have to. Rush those guys. Ouch. Oh, good. I thought they were coming. We'll attack you next time, Buckos. Because you can't shoot at me if I'm involved in melee. Well, that hurt. That hurt. I thought that they're coming out of the woods over there and I didn't see them. Good. A lot more troops sitting back there than I thought he had. All them damn rebels. Who's retreating? I don't think I've ever seen a retreating.
He's retreating. He's retreating, but he's not broken. This guy. Chasing down 123. All right, let's see what happens. All right. Uh, win, lose. Like that. And 42. All right, well, let's move up to here. Byzantine archers. Um, let's move him to here. This horse archer would be probably not good. So if I move him to what's his strength? Uh, 156. Move him to there. And that I can't shoot at him. And, uh, if I can shoot at him, I'll take that. No, did nothing. That'd be twenty. Ah, twenty. Taking him so long to ride around. And I kind of leaving that flank open. But keeps him from shooting at me. That's what's important. Okay. This guy. Ports Archers, irregular foot. Okay. 79% chance against them. And what do we have here? Archers. All right. If I go here, I got a better chance of winning. They'll retreat. I'll still get shot at. So let's do that. Come on, boys. Oh, no. I fell back. 56. And here would be what? 74. Let's see what we got here first. Sixty-six, 
44. Well. Predictions, let's go here. That's 700 and something guys. All right. Um, uh, move up. Move up. Okay, now these guys, and uh, oh shit, I lose. Really. It's just a regular foot, guys. I don't understand why these guys can't pound the crap out of them. That's amazing. Well, we'll have to hold off them. Bad attack for sure. Good. That's what I wanted to see. Now I can move up to this guy. You're over the foot, somewhere and some over the foot. My God, it's a lot of guys. Okay, horse archers. Nope. I attack with this guy. Okay. Alright. Need to get these guys going this direction now. Let's see what I am at the end of this. Okay, let's. Um, okay, still got this guy. So this Lancers. Okay. Got a 
can't go after him. Let's just turn to face him then. Is that it? No. Alright. This guy... Gonna lose. Gonna take out 44. 24, 32. And a possible win. All right, well, let's run that risk right there. Well, 27, not 44, but it's 27. Okay. four percent chance of winning. Yeah. Sick, sick of getting hacked away at it. So. Good. Disrupted him. He fell back. This guy. Alright, what's this guy can do? Nothing. All right, yeah, these are where I'm gonna, I get, I get this pummeled. I don't understand. Same here. Uh, I fall back, he gets a check. They cause 10 of 10. Follow this guy back first, see what happens. Held firm. It's right next to his. Held firm, okay, good. Okay, now I got this guy. Let's see. What do I want to do with this guy? Answers. Twenty-two percent chance, five percent chance. Could be a draw. Okay. Pack. Attacking it from the side. He loses more guys than we did. We fell back. Okay, that's cool. I can deal with that. All right, that is it. End our turn. Let's see what happens. Oh crap, they rallied. Oh well. I'm right there to hopefully hit them. Now, these are defensive guys. They should be good. Sixty-six. Yes. They fell back. Good, good, good. That's good. Ouch. Well, I was thinking they didn't have as many as we had, weather-wise, but I was wrong. <laughs> I was really underestimating the size of the rebel force. I'm glad I didn't use local forces. God bless. I would have been... Horribly. Uh, 
Damn, damn good. They're chewing me apart because of their well, well, what I did to everybody else. They got many more archers than I got, which is unfortunate. Damn it. Okay. Maybe I should have went with... Oh, they're coming back. That's good. I'm not sure who's retreating. Okay, let's see here. What's happening? Okay, just one. They turn towards me. Four and four. Ooh, they breaks. Good. We rallied. Good. They charged. All right. All right. It will be our turn next time. So over here, uh, we got this grouped route, which was sweet. Uh, now we're going to battle this guy, and this guy is um, fragmented also. And this guy is disrupted. So they're looking good with the CNC again. He's doing his job. So this guy's attacking here. These guys are just getting whittled down. It sucks. Same here. No, they haven't. The regular foot have not. These are expert armored horse archers. Ooh, experts. Hmm, these guys are masked. All right, we'll keep trying to do something here. We got a couple of units that are definitely fragmented. This unit's rallied uh, for them, and we rallied, so... Let's see if we can take out some of these guys over here. So, right now, uh, eliminating units on the fringes appears to be working. Hopefully, we can get this guy to break too, which would be nice. And we can get this guy to break next turn, and that would be nice. So, we're trying to roll up this side over here, like we did last time, and here, and just hold in the middle. So... That's the sub-general. Does he get damage to him? No. Oh, pretty banners, though. I should zoom in more, because it's uh, very pretty. But we will leave that for next time. So, let's go ahead and save. And this is... Except for not versing the Italian Normans anymore, we'll burst rebels. And that is it. So let's go back to the main menu. So, yeah, another great. I love this game. It's uh, what's really gonna be nice is when they are able to put get kingdoms released and we'll be able to have automatic uh more of a total war thing like i mentioned last time where you're, you're going to be moving troops around and when they meet it's automatically going to come over to here well you can come over to here to do battles which i think is going to be outstanding so uh but we'll continue with uh what we're doing right now maybe we'll get through this particular um campaign and then once we do that we'll see where we stand as far as uh fill the glory kingdoms 
and we'll go from there. So, uh, as always, I'm Captain Jake, wishing you fair winds and following seas. Until next time.